You are a critical friend to me at a very difficult time when I was pregnant with Jude and going through turmoil, um, suffering through an illness. And I tell you what, I mean, I relied on my friends like you to survive, you know, so you've been very, very important to me. I developed a disease called sarcoidosis when I became pregnant with my son Jude and right away in the pregnancy I started having all sorts of difficulties and I won't go on and on about that but it was devastating and it was debilitating and I you know I couldn't work and I lost all quality of life. Went through like probably an 8 to 12 month period where I didn't know what was wrong with me and I had to go to many different doctors and ultimately ended up at the Mayo Clinic when I was diagnosed right before I gave birth and um, you know didn't know if I would even make it you know it was very scary and my marriage started to fall apart during that time and I had very few people in my life that I thought I could really count on who you know would come over and visit this pathetic sad person who was depressing to be around um, it was like my mom and a few very close personal friends and that was like really truly it was like a lifeline so Aaron was one of those friends and you know I just don't know what I would have done to get through that dark period without her. When Lori fell ill and nobody knew what was going on and what you couldn't hear I remember I lost my vision I yeah, lost my I mean, sight was, I it was, walk it, it was, was traumatic yeah it was bad. I really pictured myself in a situation like Lori's um, and I wondered what I could do because what do you do? I mean, you go over and you know you bring food, or you I would I would just sit and crochet, and we would just chitter chatter, and I'd tell you the news I knew, and you'd tell me the news you would know, and mm -hmm. she asked the best questions. She would help me think through things too, but so I didn't I did it because that's how I would have wanted a friend to be there, but once I got there, I knew that I was there because you meant so much to me. That would, so that's really what separates you from other people because, you know, there are a lot of people who didn't do that. Probably because, I mean, it's, it's a difficult thing to go and sit with a sick friend. You know, especially when you have a busy life and you have other things to do and it's just not a fun thing to watch somebody suffer like that. But, you know, you did it anyway and, and that meant a lot to me. I can't really count very high on my hands of how many friends that I've known for that long and I'm still as good friends with today, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. You have a few, but I'm glad to be one of them for sure.